Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Cyberworld Reset plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin that's very easy to use and well made, and it allows you to have scheduled resets of your different worlds, and there's a ton of different features associated with it. You can customize each reset, you can change the amount of time, how often it happens, you can save the world, you can have a brand new seed, etc. And let's just jump into it. So if you do forward slash CWR, that is the first command and then if you use CWR create followed by a world name so I have a world called creative although I've already done this myself it already exists and then once we've created it we can do CWR edit and then the world name creative and then we can change various settings now there's a few things in here we want to um, look at so the first one is adding a warning time so this is in seconds this is how much time it will be when you get a warning message and it will say hey the world's going to reset uh, in 10 seconds in a thousand seconds or whatever so probably give your players a decent amount of time there's a thousand as you can see i've set some other uh, warning times so once we've added a warning time we can also add a warning message you can say hey the world is going to reset something like that there's the warning message and then obviously we want to set it to true so if we go up here enable warning and then put true on the end and you can see in chat we have uh, two warning messages in fact and then we have lots of warning times in all in seconds and that is all enabled so that's the first thing you can do pretty useful just to give your players a heads up about what is happening now the other thing we can do is add a timer this is how often the world will reset so there's a few different ways you can do this so if i type in a random date so 2021 december and the 10th the date today and then let's put i don't know uh, 12 o'clock that will add a date where on this day it just resets the world and that's it what you can do if you want it to be every month or every week you can put asterisks instead of a year after that there's a few other things we can do so you can add a command um, so if you wanted players to maybe get monetary compensation or get items when it resets just to help them out you could do that potentially set seed so this is a pretty important one you can uh, have two uh, choices for this you can put put in the seed you can put default or random so default is just going to be the one that is currently in use um, which is probably what you want unless you want a completely brand new world set safe world this is another thing you want to set so if you don't set a safe world it will kick all your players out and they'll be back in the menu but if you do set a safe safe world such as uh, world world that will allow your players to be teleported to a different world while the other one resets um, so obviously once you've done that you want to enable the safe world and you want to set it to true as well make sure you add that on the end so that's cool that we've set that as well and then another thing we want to do is CWR save and then creative that will create a brand new save of the world with this red stuff here I just put loads of random blocks down once we've done that, we can go back into the settings, CWR edit uh, creative. And then what we want to do is enable last save and set that to true as well. So when this does reset, all of this stuff will still be here. So to prove it to you, what I'm gonna do is get some TNT and some redstone and I'm gonna make a massive mess here. And obviously once it resets, it will actually uh, look a lot better than that. So CWR, edit, uh, creative, and let's see if there's anything else we want to look at. Obviously there's some other stuff in here you could potentially change, you can delete timers if you really want to. So delete timer zero, I believe, and that will get rid of that one. So if you're happy with all of that, I believe we can also do CWR info and then creative, and it will tell us everything that we've done. So we have a safe world, which is world world, a delay of five seconds, the spawn is default. We've got two warnings. We've got loads of different time warnings as well. How often that happens, we've got message, uh, the seed, and the last save is true. And then we obviously want to enable it as well. So CWR edit and then creative. And let's go ahead and set enabled to true. There we go. So we've done that now. And let's go ahead and see if we can reset it. So CWR reset creative. So do this command first of all. And then it's going to ask you in chat if you really want to do that. So you can do CWR confirm. And then because we have the safe world, and it's uh, 
slowly loading here we go we have been teleported into uh, world world and it says you have teleported to the safe world attempting the rollback of world creative the world creative has been rolled back now loading the world so give it a minute or so and hopefully we will be allowed to go back to the creative world and see if it has reset uh, how it was supposed to and there we go it says world creative has been reset the world creative has been done successfully and as if by magic there we go no tnt hole that we created earlier it is back to exactly how it was before we reset it and that's really handy if you built like a spawn area or various different warps and it allows your players to have the same world just without all of the destruction that they have caused so that's how you set it up in game it's very simple uh, let's head over to the config file now and see what we can change in there so here we are in the SMP control panel and as you can see there are three YML files and a folder which just saves all the world's data so don't worry about that if you go into the config.yml there's not really too much in here there's a few things so do you want to enable that confirmation of 15 seconds that we had to agree to uh, do you want to save the world before reset yes or no and then scroll down there's some other stuff like the time and load delay loading radius etc and down at the bottom we've got the language which is true and English if we go back we've got the language file which obviously has all of the different stuff that's going to pop up in chat don't need to edit that at all so we can skip that the worlds.yml is the important file you want to look at so we've got all of our worlds in here we've got creative we got test and then world the world one is obviously not enabled currently but if we go down to creative this is the one that we enabled uh, last save is set to true if that's set to false it will just reset everything completely and you'll lose everything uh, we've got uh, the settings here so the time I deleted the timer but if you didn't you could set it up something like this so here are the different examples of the timers which I mentioned in the game so this one is the 20th of August 2021 at five o'clock it will reset and that will happen once and then over here this one will happen every 15 minutes this one every two hours uh, etc every two months every 12 months so that is how you would set that up if we head over to the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.18 um, we have our commands down here these are all the settings we were playing around with we've got various permissions you probably don't want to give any of these to players but you know admins obviously you want permissions and then if you want any more information there is a link uh, to a wiki which is on discord so that's the plugin but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time <laughs>